What's going on Nakamas? It's your boy Ty here, but you can call me Mosey, here with another episode of Mosey Reacts. On this episode of Mosey Reacts, I have episode 115 of One Piece. But before I get into today's episode, it's time for a comment of the day. And I actually have two comments of the day from two different people, but they share the common theme. Um, and the theme was that when it comes to the Straw Hats, my logic is basically arbitrary. Um, so for example, the first comment came from Dime Space, who said, I love the fact that you expect that a Karo with a purse on his back made it up the wall, but then called Cap on Bone Clay running up the wall. And then the other example came from Brian who said, Bro, two episodes ago you spent like a straight minute confused about how the crew got desert clothes in the desert, but you see our weakest member wounding a 10,000 pound hammer with one hand and don't even question it? Oh, Mosey. And honestly, I have no excuses. I... I'm baffled on how I got fooled so easily by Usopp. Like, it's not like Usopp has throughout this series like shown that he's a quote unquote strong character. If anything, he's shown the exact opposite. So why my brain just was like, oh yeah, him winning the 10, not even just winning the 10,000 pound hammer, but he was taking that hammer and throwing it up in the air and catching it. And my brain was just kind of like, oh yeah, of course that makes sense. And then naturally, Zoro is going to be stronger than Usopp and he could probably do like a 50 pound thousand hammer and then uh, Luffy is even stronger than Zoro so he could probably do like a 100k that doesn't make any sense Mosey why would you I don't know but I love the fact that you guys caught that and pointed it out to me because like what was I thinking I do not know but I do appreciate you guys commenting it um if you guys want a chance to be commenting today feel free to drop a comment down below and then before we get into today's episode though this is just a daily reminder this is not a market substitute you should always support the official release. Hmm. Fucked up saying that. <laughs> Alright, Miss Christmas, your lap is getting up there like with Miss All Wednesday? Valentine. I will say this though, Usopp can definitely take a beating, that's for sure. Oh no. <gasps> we broke his nose, no. He, was, he didn't die from that, right? Like, I'm sorry, but that looked like a very hard hit. Bruh, how? I, is he conscious right now? I don't see the pupils in his eyes. Mm. I'm not questioning why he's not dead. I'm questioning how he has not been knocked out yet. Wait, what? So there's 10 point? Because I thought for sure he had like 9, right? And so if he's been saving this one, this is 10?
That's actually really smart. I'm not gonna lie, that, that sound was so satisfying to hear. Damn! How heavy was that hammer? I'm just confused on what the, he means by making the king surrender. Like, then what? I guess that's sort of why I'm kind of confused about this rebel army. Is like, okay, so if you guys are able to beat out all the royal guards and the king, then what? It's like I'm just trying to, I'm just comparing it to like our civil war, you know, like me, like if the south would have won, they would have kept slavery, you know, like, so if the rebels win, what do they want? Do you guys not know who she is? I was going to say, like, you guys are telling the princess what to do? Uh... I like that was new music. I had to guess I'd say Bone Clay's kick was harder. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, I know Sanji can kick hard, but ballet, they really use, like, their toes when they... Yeah, I'm sorry. I think Sanji's kicks are weaker. 
Because Sanji went fucking flying. Bone Clay, not so much. もう<笑> Am I missing something? Did he not change? Oh, oh. It's okay, Bon Clay Clay. Honestly, what I thought was he was going to like transform into like Vivi or Nami's face and then Sanji would have a hard time hitting Nami. <laughs> okay, never mind that theory. あんたの友達の顔よ。俺はそういう映像には囚われねえたちなんだよ。人、心だろうま。よ、オッケー、ボンクレイ。あんた。行き。分かったわ。あんたにはたとえば。<笑>おう、サンジ。マジでわかりやすい。マジでわかりやすい。マジでわかりやすい。マジでわかりやすい。マジでわかりやすい。マジでわかりやすい。マジでわかりやすい。マジでわかりやすい。マジでわかりやす
I don't know. It's just, I don't hate him. Um, but yeah. And then, uh, speaking of the rest of this episode, uh, would, uh, VV's, uh, plan work? Like, I know she wants to destroy the palace. That would work as far as getting everyone's attention. Like, naturally, if they see a giant palace just fall, everyone's gonna turn. But that wouldn't stop the rebel army, right? Like, I can't imagine Koza and them are like, let's get, take over the king, let's get him to surrender. The palace falls down, they're like, oh, okay, well, let's go home, guys. You know? And But then, speaking of Koza, though, I'm not sure what his overall objective is. Like, he wants to... He wants the king out of power, but like, in a, in a typical civil war, you want to overthrow the king because the king is doing something that's making their lives worse. What is the king doing? Do I, like, so if they get the king out of power, how's the country going to get better, Koza? What's going to change? Is all of a sudden the king's out of power, you guys are going to start getting rain again? Like, or is it because they still think the king is using the dance powder right now? But no, they've had been on a drought. So the king isn't using the dance powder. So they've been in on a drought. If they overpower the king, they know not to use the dance powder because they know the effects of it. So overthrowing the king, how is that going to better your country, Koza? I'm, I'll let it go this episode, but um, more questions as always. But it's been real. It's been fun. It was hella entertaining later on. <laughs>